Hello. Welcome to another tutorial for ZBrush. In this video I want to explain about applying displacement to your model in ZBrush and of course, the problem that you may encounter, which has happened to me a lot, so I decided to make a video about it. First of all, I need to say that I am using the texturing XYZ head object and the texture I am using in the video was also obtained from the texturing XYZ you can get the related object for free from their website. I will put the link in the description. Well, let's go to the main topic. First, let's go to the textures we have. There are several textures I have for my model. One of them is mid-value displacement, which we are working with exactly. Drag it into Photoshop and open the file. Well, I want to use only the red channel in this file because in the displacement files, the red channel contains larger details, which I want to import into my model so that I can use it for more accurate and better sculpting on my model. I choose the red channel. First of all, I lower the quality of the texture and change it to 4K because the quality of XYZ V face pack is 16K by default. And 4K is enough for me. I also recommend you do not to use more than 8K because ZBrush does not support that. Next, we go to create a new file. I will make a new file in 4K. Make sure you set exactly the settings that I set. Make sure that you set it to grayscale and 16-bit. I will explain to you how the 8-bit file can cause problems. Go back to the texture and select the red channel. Then copy it with Ctrl C and paste it in the file you created. Then go to the layer tab and select the flatten image option so that image does not have any layers anymore. Save the file in T format. Make sure that the settings are the same as what I put. I save the image in two different formats of this file. One is 8-bit and the other is 16-bit in order to show you the difference between the two textures in ZBrush. Now here I change the image mode to 8-bit and this time I save the file in 8-bit. So far we are done with Photoshop, we will return to ZBrush again. To add a displacement map to your model, you need to have a texture map. Just make sure in the UV map tab you changed the resolution to higher. By default, it is 1K but our texture is for K. So, we need to set the quality higher. I will put it on 8K. Now click on the new texture button. As shown in the image, the resolution of our texture is now 8K. We need to add our texture now. You can do this from the Alpha or Texture tab. I will add it from the Alpha tab because I don't need to convert it to Alpha anymore. It will be added as Alpha. Be sure to click the Flip V option for both of them after adding them. Now, just put the desired map in the displacement map section and set the intensity. I will put the 8-bit map first and reduce the intensity until it is acceptable to me. After adding the 8-bit map, you will notice an effect on the skin that looks like a noise. This happens when you use an 8-bit map. This is not what I wanted. Now let me show you the 16-bit map. This problem does not exist in it. Even if you increase the intensity, the noise effect will not be seen anymore. After adjusting the intensity according to your needs until you are satisfied, now you can apply the displacement. But do not forget a few points that you must follow before applying. It is important that the mid is set to 0.5, as I am showing you, if this amount is less or more, it will mess up the form of your model. Make sure you set it to 
In this video, you have learned how to add displacement map, but I recommend you to watch the rest of the video. I want to show you very briefly why in Photoshop we must have used 16-bit mode to create the new file and then we changed it to 8-bit to output 8-bit file. I will do the same process again but with 8-bit new file. Now when I add the new files, you can see that the texture is added with an effect similar to topography no matter what intensity it is. Whether it is 16 bits or 8 bits, the same thing happens. I don't know what this problem is, maybe it's Photoshop or ZBrush problem, but I just know that the solution I got is the one I explained to you in the video. If anyone knows the reason, explain it to me in the comments. I hope the video was useful for you don't forget to like and subscribe. If the video was useful for you let me know in the comments. Goodbye until the next tutorials.